Yeah, you know, t uh, I got to tip your hat off to Green Bay. Um, I thought they we, they did a tremendous job of outworking us. You know, our program is a program that's uh, kind of you know based on hard work. Um, I thought they got us on the better better half of that. I, I thought they deserved to win. They made winning plays um, down the stretch, and um, you know when you get outworked, uh, the reality of it is you're you're kind of playing with fire. Um, so we got a lot of work to do, obviously. Um, I've been saying it for weeks and weeks. Uh, we're not very good defensively. Um, we're, we're, we've got a long, long way to go. Uh, this group needs a ton of practice. Um, so I'm, I'm excited to, to get back to practice and, and hopefully get back to some of the things that, you know, we stood for uh, over the last year and a half. Uh, and that was defense, toughness, um, you know, outworking people. Uh, but you got to give Green Bay a lot of credit. I thought they totally outworked us. How do you kind of after a, a two games like this, how do you approach tomorrow's tomorrow an off day? Are you guys going to practice tomorrow? How do you approach that after a two-game series? Yeah, you know, it's really tough to, to do anything physically um, after two days, um, especially uh, with guys playing so many minutes, Robert. So we probably would be more of a mental day. Um, and then obviously, you know, we got four coming up on the road that will be very, very difficult. So we got a lot of things that, uh, we can certainly look at tomorrow on video and try to clean up and, you know, get better. Coach's game went back and forth throughout most of the day. How did you feel you guys executed offensively uh, from start to finish in this matchup, Coach? Well, I don't think good enough. You know, 69 points uh, on your home home court is not very good. Um, you know, 5 of 18. Uh, from three, uh, we missed a ton of free throws. You know, I think we were 10 to 19 from the free throw line. Um, in order to win those types of games, you got to make free throws. Um, so I think the guys are very, very frustrated. I know the coaches are. Um, so hopefully, um, you know, we'll 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 have some days of practice here, uh, the next three or four days. But I've said all along, Rob, you and I talk quite a bit. This league is much, much improved. It's not about what you did last year. It's about what you do in the future. You got to live in the present moment. Uh, you got to be present. Uh, you got to work uh, each and every day, uh, and and punch your ticket and and go to work. Um, and that's that's what we've got to do as collectively as a group. Um, we got to go go to work. There's a lot to work on here. There there we're not great on either side of the ball. Um, so we've got a lot of things we got to get better at. But you've been very prophetic in a lot of things that you and I have talked about, and, and you said it yesterday after the game. You know, your team had to deal with some adversity coming back from losses and the disappointment there. And then you had to deal with success coming off of yesterday's win. And again, you know, that was something you guys hadn't had to deal with winning game one in a weekend series. You know, is this something that you obviously take back to the locker room and teach them how to be consistent and, and what you're saying is actually, you know, been proven to be true? Yeah, I don't, I, you know, Rob, I, I think so. But, um, you know, when you're coming into a game two and three, um, you know, in your league, um, I think the sense of urgency should, should be very, very high. You know, for whatever reason, um, our group this year, we haven't played very well to start games. Uh, I don't know what that is. We've talked about it. Um, we, we try to really put an emphasis on that. You got to get off to a good start, I think, mentally. Uh, Green Bay got off to great starts both games, um, and they, uh, you know, ended up beating us today. So I think that plays into it. Um, but it's, it's really down to our defense, Schmitty. There, there's really nothing to talk about with this team uh, until we learn. Uh, we have to be a good defensive team. Uh, you'll continue to lose. Uh, defense has to be important to you. You can't give up 79 points um, and expect to beat anybody. Um, so it's real, real simple. We've got to get and figure out uh, how we can become a good defensive team together because it's not one guy. This is a team sport. Um, we're all in this thing together, um, so we have to figure that part out, and then I think that would lead to, you know, obviously getting better offensively. Seemed like Shake was able to give you guys a good minute out there. Just talk about the developments of him and uh, him playing this evening. Yeah, I like our freshman, Robert. I've said all along. I think we got some really good freshmen. Unfortunately, they just really, um, you know, are going to go through some growing pains. Um, you know, that's a, a really um, – you know, natural thing as a freshman. Um, but, yeah, he plays with energy. He cares. Um, he wants to be a good player. He's going to try. Uh, he puts in the time. Uh, he's very, very gifted. He's strong. He's athletic. Um, so, you know, I just told all those freshmen, this is basically an extra year for you 
Um, use it as a red shirt year in, you're getting games. Most times in basketball, you don't get to play in any games. So um, I think he's a young man that'll play more and more, um, obviously because Nas is playing a lot of heavy minutes um, and he's playing behind a very, very good player. So uh, there may be even times where we play those guys together.